Hey guys, this is Casey with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be revealing our CAC grading and CAC stickering submissions. There's a lot of surprises and a lot to learn. And aside from that, we have some new purchases that we have for you guys. Uh, we hope you enjoy. So about 10 days ago, Drew and I sent off two submissions. One to CAC grading, one to CAC stickering. They were very efficient and we got both back within a few days of each other. So the first submission that we're going to go over today is the CAC grading submission. Just to show you the overall look of what the slabs look like. A lot of them were crossovers from NGC. But just a great learning experience and putting out some new products for CAC grading. Alright guys, so the first coin I want to show you in today's video is this 1914 two and a half Indian. It's great in Min State 62. They have the L designation, which means it's a legacy designation, which means they actually move this over from either an NGC or a PCGS holder. This one's from NGC. This is the second lowest mintage for two and a half Indians. It was CAC approved before it was crossed over. And overall, I think it's very pleasant to see you know, the coin in this holder. And I do think that it's easier to photograph and film there's just a lot of light that gets into these holders, and it's really pleasing to the eye also. I like these a lot better than NGC and PCGS sometimes, but they do get a little bit scratched up easy, so we try to keep them protected while we have them. The next one is also a Legacy crossover, but as you can recall, this 14S Barber Dime ended up being in kind of a scuffy PCGS holder with a CAC sticker. And since we had our first submission going out, I wanted to just cross this over and get a kind of a general look and experiment for you guys. And uh, I like this coin a lot. 14S's I don't see very often. Has a little bit of subtle color to the reverse in great detail. And so I just like the coin a lot and hope you do too. The next one is this 37D. This 37D Lincoln Cent is Great Mint State 67 Red, was an NGC holder. And I, like I said, I do like the way that the light is able to get to the coin. I think NGC is the worst of all three grading services for uh, letting the light get to the coin. Sometimes it gets covered up by, you know, uh, just the plastic and everything that's surrounding the coin. And so, uh, very nice. The last CAC G coin I want to show you is this 44D and you might ask yourself why didn't this one get in a new holder and the reason being is because when they're stickering a coin they're looking at it for the 67 grade so did it pass as a 67 is it a good 67 and we're going to sticker it if it is so they ended up saying when they were looking at this coin is it a good 67 yes it is so we got the green sticker but CAC stickering doesn't look at pluses so when we sent this to CAC G, they ended up saying, well, we think it's a 67, but we don't think it's a 67 plus, so we're not going to cross it. So um, many people are kind of confused by this, but what I would say is that they didn't approve, they didn't CAC approve the plus. They only CAC approved the numerical grade. So now they have to, when you're crossing them over, have them take a look and see if it's a plus or just a regular 67. And this one is only a 67 in their eyes, so... They didn't cross it, and I had a minimum grade of 67 plus red. So, uh, unfortunate, but something for you to learn from uh, if you're going to send coins in to be crossed over at CAC stickering. So, we hope you enjoyed this CAC G submission. Let's jump into the CAC stickering submission. As you may recall, we submitted two Carson City halves, and you will be pleasantly surprised by the results. In addition to that submission, we're going to show you some of our new purchases. You can check these out at AcousticCollectibles.com. Alright guys, so the first CAC stickering coin I want to show you is this 1954S. So this 54S, I kind of like Benjamins or Franklins with stickers, especially in the Rattler holders, and I have a lot of clients that look for these also. This one didn't pass, and I think because there's some bigger hits on the bell, they're kind of hard to pick up on, but it didn't pass, unfortunately. And this was the only coin in this submission that didn't pass. But that's okay. I didn't think this one had a really big shot, but wanted to give it a shot anyway. And so, not the best 65, um, and that's okay. So we have this 1957 
Franklin half dollar with really ni nice mint set toning. And the luster's all there. Very minimal hits as well. And uh, I don't know, I like the coin, like the grade. And I'm hoping our customers like it too. The next one is this 1875 CC. So these are some pretty big wins here for uh, 70, for these seated halves. Most of these have been clean or or have a lot of issues or there's you know big hits on the coin or sometimes NGC or PCGS just overgrades them. So this CC seated half, in my opinion, was all there. It was very original and it had just the you know the nicest kind of little hints of luster on the coin and uh, I don't know for me it, it met all the bells and whistles to send a CAC and they ended up agreeing with us which is cool adds some tremendous value to that coin and uh, a lot of people are looking for that coin especially with the sticker and just because they're tough coins to run into already but when they're original like that the price goes up even further so we have the 75 cc an AU55, nice luster, original like the other one, and just phenomenal pieces. We're probably going to hold on to these for a little bit and uh, see what the best route is for them, but wanted to show you in this video just awesome Carson City halves. So let's show you guys a few new purchases here. Some of these will be CAC approved, and a lot of them will be older holders, which is cool. So we have this 1882S Morgan Dollar. It's great, Min State 63. It's in a Rattler holder, CAC approved. To me, this coin looks gem. I don't see many issues with the coin. I thought it was a 65. They didn't gold stick at the coin, which kind of confused me. But, I mean, just take a look at this coin. It's phenomenal. Not a lot of hits in the fields, and the cheek is super clean. I think that coin should have gold cacked, but that's okay. The next coin I want to show you is not the prettiest key date, Morgan Dollar, but it is the 1895O. Great G4 by PCGS, really old cleaning, and uh, started to retone kind of purplish in the fields. But people are looking out for these key dates, so wanted to show it to you guys. Up next is this 1890 seated dime, just a decent type coin in VF30. I don't know why someone would grade this today, but it had a little nice true view to it, and I wanted to sell it for a few dollars over our cost if someone's looking for it. Next one is this 1888 Morgan Dollar, graded Mint State 64. It is CAC approved, blazing luster, few hits in the fields, and a lot of these, like I said, are really close to gem, and they are really harsh on grading back then. This one's in the 2.2 gen holder, I believe. It has the barcode here, and uh, just a very lovely Morgan Dollar. People are buying plastic and stickers nowadays, but the coin is also nice, which is really good. Then we have this 1913 Type 1 Buffalo Nickel, Great Mint State 66. It's CAC approved. Tougher to find Buffaloes in 66, 67, and Rattler holders, and so I wanted to show this to you guys because I do think it's a really cool pickup. You hear a little, that little Rattler to it as well. Then we have this 1943. Washington Quarter, Red Mint State 63. It's CAC approved. Nice luster to it. We had uh, a subscriber and longtime friend send this into CAC. He thought it was a gold sticker, but man, this coin does look a, lo a lot better than a 63. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Then we have this 1878S Morgan Dollar. Nice tab tone to the coin. 78s can be tough to find with color. And, uh, does have just that nice, gentle, beautiful color to the coin. So we have a coin from CAC Grading, or CAC G. This is an 1877 seated half. Just beautiful, original, XF40. Love the holder, like I said. Just gets a lot of light to the coin. And I uh, couldn't pass up this coin. Because even if it doesn't sell, I love looking at it every single day. And uh, it really is just something that you're looking for. If you're someone that's looking for, you know, out in the wild looking for raw coins and you end up stumbling up across a bunch of seated halves that look like that, it's just a great day for you. And uh, I don't know. I love seated halves like that. The last coin I want to show you, actually the second to last coin, is this 86P in Min State 63. 
It is CEC approved. Probably has 64 by today's standards, but a really nice older holder. Then the last coin in this video is this 1889 Morgan Dollar Great Mint State 63 proof like. Not as proof like as most coins that you see might look like, but they did PL the coin and the luster is blazing, especially for 89. Sometimes the 89 luster can be a little bit subdued, which is okay. But this one, it's got that like that 81S luster. So thank you guys for taking a look at our CAC stickering submission and all of our new purchases. Thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please leave a like and a comment on the coin that you enjoyed the most. Please subscribe if you haven't. We're trying to reach 6,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Please help us reach our goal. Thank you and have a great rest of your week. Thank you.